everybody. You're just in time. I'm getting ready to make a side dish for the shindig. My name is Michelle and this is Big Valley Living and we really appreciate you coming by. Um, I'm sorry, did you just ask me what the shindig is? You mean to tell me you haven't heard about the shindig? It's only the biggest barbecue being thrown by coast to coast in the United States and we've got people from all over the place who are going to take part in this big, gigantic barbecue. Who are the hosts? Well, we have Tony from Kettle Kitchen. We have Ginger from Not For Nothing Homestead. We have Tiffany from Mud and Mascara. And we have Dale and Nana from Nine Acre Family Farms. You guys, they have worked really hard to put this shindig together. So I'm gonna bring my favorite cold salad and I'm gonna, and it's, I'm gonna say it's California style. This is California style food and I think you're really gonna like it. So come on over and let me show you how we make it. Okay, so this is actually a, an original salad by us. <laughs> so we're gonna call it green and wax bean salad and um, it's got a beautiful bright lemony dressing on it. I don't know, we might rename it, but we just call it green bean salad around here actually. So what I've done is cleaned up about a pound of green and wax beans and I've broken them into about one and a half inch bite sized pieces. Four cloves of garlic and about two tablespoons of olive oil and that's going to be for the dressing as well as those two beautiful lemons over there. You can see that one of them is a little bit past its prime but that's okay because it's going to be a little juicier and we need lemon juice for our dressing. That pretty bright yellow lemon is actually going to be used for some zest and the juice. I've got a bowl of ice water because I'll be blanching the green beans. I have basil that we're gonna put over the top. We have some nice cherry tomatoes from the garden and a nice red onion as well. So we're gonna start out by blanching the green beans. So to blanch our green beans and our wax beans, I already have them cleaned and the ends trimmed. And I'm just gonna put those right into some boiling water and we're gonna let them boil for about probably a minute, a minute and a half, really until they all start floating and you'll see the green beans turn a really brilliant green. You know what? This spider is not even poisonous and it doesn't bite. I love this spider. All right, the beans have boiled and they were moving around. The dogs are out, the dogs are getting frisky. Now, we're just gonna put them right here in this ice water. Leo is really, really on his game tonight, you guys. He wants to play catch. Or he wants a green bean. I'm not sure. He does like green beans. That's enough, Leo. Leo, you silly goose. Okay, we're gonna let those stay in that ice water and we're gonna move over here and we're gonna go ahead and do some other work. I'll bring him over here with me. Before we juice this lemon, we're just gonna get some of the zest off. I'm gonna take about half the zest from this lemon and I have this really handy tool. I don't think you can get it anymore from Pampered Chef and I apologize, but there are tools out there that you can absolutely use for your zesting. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. This is a really bright and delicious salad, you guys. You're gonna love it. And there we have it. I'm just gonna give these lemons a little roll. This one's real juicy because it's it's been on the counter for a few days. But again, it's gonna be really juicy and that's what we're going for. Okay, we do have some seeds, but not to worry because we have this little beauty. <laughs> what we're gonna do is juice this into a, a bowl that has a little funnel on it before we put it into the bottle for dressing. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on in there. And I don't know if you've ever done this before, but you wanna take your lemon and put it in with the cut side down towards the bottom of this. And it's gonna take out just about all the seeds. We rarely have seeds come through this. Oh, this is a really juicy lemon, that's good. Ooh, got my eye. <laughs> I'm actually gonna save that other half and I'm gonna make some lemon basil water because these were really nice and juicy. This is awesome. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is pour the lemon juice. There's a little pulp in there. That is completely okay. That just gives it a little extra flavor. 
and there's no pith, so it's not gonna be super bitter. And this was already measured out. It's about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, locally grown and harvested and pressed here in Northern California. We're gonna go ahead and prepare our garlic now. I like to use a wider knife for this because I just don't wanna cut myself. So I just give it a slight crush. And I actually have a garlic press that you can put in the skins and everything and it takes it out. But I love fresh pressed garlic and I don't really just don't want to waste anything. So we're going to go ahead and remove that from the skins. Put the skins off to the side to go out to the compost in a while. Now we're just gonna take a pinch of salt, maybe a, maybe a quarter teaspoon, and put it in there just for some nice flavor. I'm gonna put just a couple pieces of this nice lemon zest in there, but we'll use more later, don't you worry about it. And you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of this basil that we harvested earlier. Not too much, because we're going to be putting that in the actual salad, but it will infuse a little bit. And I'm just going to give it a little squeeze to bruise it. That'll release some of the flavor and make it that much more yummy. Another little shake. And into the fridge it's going to go. And now I'm gonna get some cherry tomatoes and I'm gonna quarter these. These are fairly large. I have a tomato knife, very handy. You can use any serrated knife. It'll just make your life easier. Daisy smells these. <laughs> Feel free to keep the smaller tomatoes just uh, in half if you wish. Ooh, that's a pretty little one, isn't it? Little heirloom, nice. I love summertime vegetables. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm gonna put these off to the side for a moment and we're gonna work on this little red onion. I really only want a few little slices of this, okay? So get them as thin as you can. And then I'll be putting this in the fridge for something tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it. It's very thin, I want you to see this, okay? And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and take off the outer two layers. We don't need those. That we ha don't have any peel on there. But I like to just thinly slice them. Feel free to dice if you wish, but they'll break up a little bit when we put them into the salad. And then I'm also gonna reserve some of the outer rings just for a little decoration. We'll keep some of them intact. Holy Moses, these things. Whoa, careful. These red onions pack a punch. And I'm just gonna turn that ever so slightly to make sure that I just have it diced. There we go. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's really kind of, you know, I'm trying to make it look really festive and pretty for the shindig. So, you know, this is gonna be going on the whole month. There we go. This uh, shindig is gonna be going on the whole month of September and you can find the entire playlist of excellent channels on any one of the host's home pages. Um, I would start at Kettle Kitchen, and we'll also put a list currently um, of who's gonna be uh, bringing a dish to the shindig in our description box. Make sure that you go to each one of those channels throughout the month, there's gonna be one or two a day, and go in, watch the channels. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Make sure that you like it and that you leave a really, really nice comment because at the end of this, I'll drop the date in my description box, at the end of the shindig in early October, you are gonna have a chance to win some pretty cool prizes. And in all of that, you're gonna be getting some awesome recipes. So you're, you're, you're a winner. You're a winner no matter what you do. All right.
I am just, I didn't shift a nod because these just aren't long enough for that. It's been really hot lately, so we have a few little buggy bites on here because the bugs get thirsty too, you know. And again, I'm reserving this to the side to put on top of this beautiful salad. I think it's time to put it together. Let's assemble the salad. We drained the beans. And now I'm just putting them back into the same bowl that we had them in the ice water, in the ice bath, because this is a nice big bowl for tossing. You definitely need to keep room for that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these nice onion slices in here. You don't need to put onion in here, but it will make a lovely flavor and it makes a really nice presentation. If you're making this salad the night before, my recommendation is to keep all of the ingredients separate, put them together when you get to your shindig, and then, and then dress it right at the end because lemons will actually turn the green beans a little bit rusty color if you do it over, if you uh, put them in for too long and that means like 12 or 13 hours I will tell you that even if your beans get a little bit discolored boy those are ripe tomatoes those look really good even if your beans get discolored this salad is great the next day for lunch or maybe for dinner oh my gosh look at that so beautiful, so colorful. Right now we're gonna dress it and put all the pretty stuff on top. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Oh, it smells good. Make sure you shake it up before you put it in there because you want that garlicky goodness. My recommendation is to use fresh garlic because you know what? Friends don't let friends use jarred garlic. This, this calls and screams for fresh garlic. So I'm gonna to toss it again. My hands are very clean. And we're going to put these nice onion slices on top because we want it to be pretty. Look at that. Goodness gracious, you guys. And to top it off, a nice little bit Oh, look at that, of lemon zest, fresh lemon zest. Thanks again to Tony at Kettle Kitchen, Ginger at Not For Nothing Homestead, Tiffany at Mud Mascara, and Dale and Nana at Nine Acre Family Farms for inviting Big Valley Living to be part of the shindig. We really hope that you like our salad, and please make sure to go watch everybody's channels because there are a lot of great recipes, wonderful people, excellent channels and we know that you're going to find some new friends like share and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more fun and vibrant recipes like this see you later everybody be kind